guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, hope you're all good. So in this video, we are gonna be looking at a brand new pedal from Keeley Electronics. Robert Keeley, hugely famous for his incredible mods to different pedals. Uh, the Keeley Modified Compressor is a must have if you can get hold of one these days. Um, in any case, he's got his own pedal brand and they brought out some killer products. I did the Luma, I've done the filaments, uh, and also they've done the DNM drive, which is Dan and Mick from that pedal show. It's their own signature kind of pedal collaboration they've done, and it's awesome. Hopefully, I'll get to review it at some point soon. Anyway, his latest creation is the Caverns pedal. This is a delay reverb, and it also has switchable modulation uh, reverb and delay trails as well, so it's got all sorts of cool customization to it. Should be very ambient, very cool, right up my street, so let's get right into it. So if we look at the GoPro, you can see the pedal. It looks awesome. I really, really like the artwork. It's kind of like a geometric pattern underneath the, the controls. Uh, and it's a really clean looking um, pedal. I think they've done that really well considering what kind of pedal it is. You've got two sides to the pedal, reverb and delay. If we look at the reverb side first, you can see we've got the controls blend, decay, warmth and rate. And then if you look down, you can see there's a little toggle switch which moves between the different types of reverb. So we've got shimmer, spring and modulation. Spring is your standard kind of spring combo, but with added um, decay time, you could probably get some pretty cool sounds out of it. And then of course modulation is going to throw in some kind of whirring, maybe it's like a flanger effect, phaser effect, that kind of thing. So if we look at the delay side of the pedal, the layout is very similar to reverb. We've got blend, time, which is the speed of the delay. You've got repeats, which is the amount of echo repeats or feedback as it were, and then modulation rate. And as you can see, there's a little line that goes down to the toggle switch, which moves between light modulation, deep modulation, and then of course no modulation at all. And that's that. So I reckon the best way to get the most out of this demo and out of this pedal is for me to show you what it sounds like on each setting and then I'm going to go ahead and stack them together, get some cool settings going and do a load of playing so you can hear the pedal in action in loads of different contexts. But we're going to start by looking at the reverb side and I'll move through each one individually. So this is the clean guitar sound. So that's quite cool, you can hear the shimmer kicking in, adding those harmonies in there. We'll come back to that, but let's move on to the spring now so you can hear that. Sounds good, let's move across to modulation, or modulated as it were. I think modulated is my favorite. Again, it's most ambient and it, I like that. But um, those are the three different kind of reverbs that you can get. Of course, we're gonna go back to them, but let's move across to delay so you can hear what's going on there. Okay, so on to delay. Modulation is off at the moment. Let's hear how it sounds. Sounds very analog, I like it. I'm gonna boost, I'm gonna slow it down a bit and I'm gonna boost the blend so we can hear it a little bit more. Awesome sounding delay, very warm, very analog. I like it a lot. Let's push in the uh, modulation, let's start on Deep, see how that works.
Very nice. Let's put it onto light. Quite a heavy modulation, but again, it's on the deep setting and the rate is very responsive. I think it could go very fast and get some very cool sounds out of it. But this is the light setting. Haven't touched anything else. So that would be the whole pedal as an overview, just so we could get the tones and get through it nice and quick. Now what I want to do is experiment with all the different kinds of sounds this pedal can clearly do. Um, so at this point I'm going to do a load of playing and then at the end we'll talk about it see what we think. So there we go, there is the Keeley Caverns. For me, it definitely does what it says on the tin. It's a very spacious reverb delay pedal, really good for the sort of single picking lines, picked patterns, that kind of thing. Adds a load of mood and atmosphere to that kind of style playing, uh, which I think is very good. 
It's easy to use, the layout's straightforward, it's easy to navigate around and dial in tones. For the most part, I was just messing around with a lot of ambient stuff because I felt like that's what it lent towards. I tried to do some lead stuff and, you know, it sounds good, but it, it for me, where it really shines through is when you start playing finger-picked patterns, swells, uh, spacious stuff. So I think that's why they called it Caverns and whoever came up with the name, nice one because it does exactly what it says on the box. The Caverns retails for around 135 and you can pick this up from Anderton's uh, music store in the UK. I'll put links in the description box below so you can go and check it out yourself. This is one of those pedals that you need to spend some time on. You need to sit with it, dial in some tones and start you know, compiling sounds. Um, if you had this in the studio, you'd find all sorts of useful ways to use it in and around your music as layers, textures or key parts of the song. So uh, I'm definitely gonna take this to the studio with Tosca, uh, maybe even put it through something else, maybe strapping a Rhodes to it or something like that. But um, yeah, definitely one to watch out for. And I think if you're in the market for a spacious, atmospheric and ambient reverb and delay pedal that does it all in the box, then I would recommend checking out the Keeley Caverns. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this demo, I hope it was useful for you guys. And if you liked it, please comment in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe and share and I will see you all very soon.